Did I not unwrap that? I didn't even unwrap what I just got. I will do that. Hi guys, it's Friday morning. I've been at the shop for a little bit. Mark is actually working in the cemetery. No, seriously. He is in Indianapolis today. Today is his normal Friday off. And he is taking part of a cemetery preservation project in Indianapolis. I was going to go with him and had every intention on doing this with him today. But then realized that I have a sale today on VAMP. So he's going without me today, which is fine. But I, I got that mug sale today that I completely forgot about. But... You know, I schedule my sales and I stay committed to the time, even though I'd really like to go, but I've already scheduled this. So that's my commitment that I got to stick to. So, um, tomorrow he and I are going to run around and do some, probably going to do some sort of a shopping event. I don't know. I don't know. We kind of talked about, we were going to go fishing. We were going to rent a boat and we were going to go fishing, but we didn't do that. So, and I think it's supposed to rain. So we're going to do something else instead, but I am on my way to sweet cakes and I am going to get something that I have heard a lot of people talk about and I'm going to try it. And it's called, I think it's called a dirty soda. I think that's what it's called. I think that's what it's called. Anyway, it is a soda mixed with marshmallow fluff. I haven't had a soda or a pop in a long time, but I'm going to have one today. It's just sounding good to me. So I'm going to run into sweet cakes and we're going to, we're going to try. It's early morning, but I used to drink Cokes in the morning all the time, but I haven't done that in a while. But we're going to try it. We're going to try it today. So I'm going to go inside. I'll take you with me. And then when we get back up to the car, we'll try this delectic delicacy. I think that's the word I'm looking for. But then once we get back to the shop, I'm going to do a good old fashioned haul because I went shopping yesterday. It's been a long time since we've done a haul. So I'm going to get things set up to do a haul. All right, so we're going in to Sweet Cakes. Hello. Hi, How are you? I'm pretty good. How are you? I'm good. I want a iced cookie. Okay. Just one. Just one of those. And then I'm going to get the, um, what is it called? A dirty soda with the marshmallow fluff? Is that what that's called? Uh, a fluff. Fluffy soda? Fluffy soda. Dirt, that sounds much better than a dirty soda. I'll take a fluffy soda with a Coke. I wanted to show you all these. This is Rakovich Farms. Um, I am going to be, I'm going to make, starting to make some arrangements with her. Look at how, look at how pretty. I want to go out and pay her farm a visit. visit. She is here in Bedford, but she does provide these beautiful flower arrangements in here. Aren't they gorgeous? So we're gonna go out there and pay her a visit in a vlog very soon, but beautiful. Aren't they lovely? Lovely. Also in here at Sweet Cakes, I do have one of these shirts. Aren't they great? All their merch in here. Okay, we're back in the car. I got an extra large. That's marshmallow. It's called a fluffy Coke and not a dirty Coke. It sounds much better calling it a fluffy Coke, but marshmallow fluff in this Coke. I hope I like it because I got an extra large. I mean, it's not bad at all. Put my little sleeve on it. It... It totally taste. It totally changes the the flavor of the the soda. I'm trying to figure out what that tastes like. It's not. It's good. Don't get me wrong. It's not bad. It's good. But it's completely. It's completely not a Coke. It doesn't taste like a Coke to me. I don't know, maybe Dr. Pepper would have been better, but I'm not a Dr. Pepper drinker, but I do like that. And I got me one little cookie to have for later. 
I mean, one little cookie with a big old glob of icing on it, but you know. Okay, well, we tried a fluffy, not dirty Coke. Now we're gonna get back to the shop. I'm gonna get things set up and we will do our haul. Okay, I'm in a different shirt because I just did, I just filmed a video for the Misty Show. So that's why I'm in different clothes, but it's still Friday. Um, I just went down to Star City Thrift. Did I not unwrap that? I didn't even unwrap what I just got. I will do that here in a minute. But let me show you what I got yesterday. I went to Riverside. I went over to It's About Time Antiques in Mitchell. And I went to um, Southern Roots. So um, from Southern Roots. Roots. Yeah, Southern Roots. I got some things for future grandchildren. I'll show you those in a minute. But I got this. Now, the, some people say that this is a deer. I think that it looks like a lamb. What do you think? That looks like a lamb to me. But I think that it's Hubbly. Um, it's a bookend. It's just a single bookend. It is made in the USA. It is all cast brass. Or it could be brawn. I think that it's brass. So just by the... the uh, the patina to it. So, um, I got that. I always like to find and like not anthropomorphic cause you're not really anthropomorphic, but a figural, um, in the, the cast. And I don't mind buying it if it's a single bookend because sometimes people just want a single bookend. So I got that from there. And I also got, my goodness, what else did I get from there? Oh, I got this, this, do you guys remember these? This will be in a tiny my tiny treasure sale on Tuesday. It is the Tupperware keychain. Who else kept their pills in there? Don't do that today because that's not safe for children. But that's what I remember that being used for. All right. I also got this little composite baby. She's fully jointed. She has on her original clothes. She's in really good, really, really nice shape. She just has a little bit of wear on her little footies. Oh gosh, you can't even tell that foot's there. She's basically missing the top part of her big toe, but relatively she's in really nice condition. And I also got from Southern Charm Her. Oh, I got some emotional support pickles. I'll be doing those as giveaways, but I got this girl. She's two-faced, you know, the type. Um, she's got this weird blow mold body. She's got this sad face on one side and then that face. And look, the thing I want you to really pay attention to, look at her teeth. That's so she can eat your flesh. I don't know much about her. I did pay $20 for her, which was probably, I don't know, because I can't find her anywhere. But she's got her original clothes, and even her clothes are double-sided. And her hair is darker and blonde. She's just weird. She's made in Taiwan. She, oh, sorry, I just looked at your boobies. She's got, what does it say on her back? Oh my gosh, what does that say? I can't read it. Cal, Cal May, Cal May, made in Hong Kong. I said she's made in Taiwan. She's made in Hong Kong. She's just weird enough. You know, oh, I don't know. She's, I, she's, I think that she's fantastic. All right. And then I also got from there, this plushy weenie dog. Look at that his little pom pom nose. He's so cute. For some reason, somebody, he was glued to something. So at the bottom of his little feet, he's got little remnants of glue, but he's adorable. Cute. And then I also got these for future grandchildren. These were $5 a piece. They're a little more modern ones, but these are the Disney princess little people. I also got Toy Story figurines and Toy Story little people. Ah, future grandchildren. So I think that's all I got from Star City Thrift. And then I went over to another thrift store. And I got this cute, here he is, he's a Joseph, a cute little pig hook. You can hang him on your wall. That's adorable. And then I got this little, she is, 
She's Mrs. Claus. See, she's got her little stocking. I love the colors on her. She's fantastic. She's sitting next to her bowels of holly. And she's marked Made in Japan. Just a little toothpick holder, but she's Christmas. She's cute. She's going to go in a tiny treasure sale. And I also got for $2 Holt Howard. This is the Red Rooster 1960 Holt Howard. No condition issues, just a little uh, ring tray, trinket tray, trinket dish, I guess. So that's pretty fabulous. Some of these things are gonna be in one of my Vamp Tiny Treasure sales. And I'm pretty sure everything else, other than what I'm gonna unwrap here in a few minutes that I got from Star City Thrift, are all things that I got from Riverside. I got E.T. Oh wait, no. I take that back. I got Papa Smurf from Southern Roots. Um, Papa will be available in my, I'm having a retro parade, a retro roundup Thursday starting at five in my virtual antique booth. It's gonna be all these like 80s, 90s, 70s, 80s, 90s toys, and not just toys, just like things that remind you of the 70s and 80s. This is Papa Smurf. So I thought that he was fitting as well as, as E.T. I haven't decided. I've, I have bought and sold this E.T. a couple times. Part of me thinks that I might need to keep this E.T. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. But he is definitely vintage. He's from Showtime. Showtime. So I got that one. Okay. Everything else I got from. No, I got this from Star Sit. No. I got this from. Um. Southern Roots. It was on the dollar table and it is made by Hallmark, believe it or not. It's just a little Hallmark glass votive holder. Very, very pretty. So that will also go in a tiny treasure sale. And I now I think everything else I got, I got from Riverside. I got Milky the Cow, Rimple. I'm going to be having a Rimple sale soon. I'm I'm wanting to do like a little deep dive on Rimple, but I have a shelf filled with the Rimple. So this is Milky the Cow, and he's a smaller size. And I like the figure ones more than I like the planters, although I still will buy the planters. And I also got Bootleg Neil the Frog. He very much looks like Neil the Frog that uh, Sears, the Sears, right? Not J.C. Penney's, but this one is a studio piece. Painted very, very nicely. At least I think you're a studio piece. Pretty sure you are. But I got him. And I got two teeny tiny, one of them is itty bitty. I got two Bluebirds of Happiness. These are going to go in a tiny treasure sale, which I do on Tuesdays at one. No. I do tiny treasures on Vamp Tuesdays at 5 p.m. Eastern. He is Ron Ray, 1989, and this little bitty one. Look how little he is. This one, something, yeah, he's marked on his tail. Boy, I can hardly see it. I cannot make that out, what that says. Ron Ray, I think 1997, and they're both in excellent condition, but my gosh, one's small and one's even smaller. I got this nap, I think your napco. Well, your Walt Disney Productions. I got this Walt Disney Productions Vintage Bambi. Excellent condition. There isn't any flaws on this. It, she is marked Disney, Walt Disney Productions. So she is fabulous. Fabulous. Okay, I'm going to put her over here by the bookend. This dog, I couldn't resist him. He's cute. He's a little smash bank of a little blue dog. He'll go in a tiny treasure sale, too. He's very, 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 very lightweight. He doesn't have any money in him. I also picked this up. Now, this is Talaveria, lead-free, hand-painted for Tierra Fina, made in Mexico. This is a little Mexican pottery frog. He'll go in a tiny treasure sale, too. I thought he was really nice. Um, it is marked on the bottom. Very nice. You get those in the souvenir if you go to Mexico. They're, they can be, even in Mexico, they're pretty spendy over there for those. All right, this is, I'm actually probably going to put this, I'm having a mug parade sale today. 
So she may, maybe she'll be sold today. It is made by um, Anarco, and she is a little baby mug. And you, you drink all your milk. You can say, Agon, Agon. So I'm gonna put her in the mug sale today. We'll see. She might she might be available in an upcoming sale if she doesn't sell today. This intrigued me, but I do think that this is a modern piece. But it is, it very, very much looks like a vintage piece of restaurant wear. And it's I should have just looked at the bottom and just paid attention to the way it was marked on the bottom. Circa Ceramics Chicago. Now this company did make a lot of like the Chicago flag. Uh, dishes um, but this is for paper clips office supplies so we've got this thumbtack on the top and then we've got the pink eraser that goes all the way around and it was the um what does that say on there the something hand farber pink the pink pearl can't you smell the pink pearl eraser but it has the pink pearl eraser that goes all the way around. And then you open up the lid and we've got that painted detail on the inside. So very, very, very nice feeling. The weight felt right, but I do believe it is a modern reproduction. But still, I don't know. I still really like it. So I don't know what I'm going to do with it. We'll see. I also got this January Angel. She is Napco. She is a smaller size one. She's adorable. And she's got zero condition issues which is good and then I got these little cuties these little cuties are like don't eat eggs we'll cook you up something nicer than eggs lady they're little chef chickens salt and pepper shakers adorable with their original stoppers and I got these these are made by Commodore and I've seen these before with a little fur on their hats or on her hat she doesn't have any fur she's furless she's a hairless cat they do both have their ba their bales. They have their bales, and they are made by Commodore. She's got her little ring on her finger, too. But there is their sticker. Adorable. His sticker's on his butt. Cute. And then I got these. I don't know who made these, but these were fantastic. They are anthropomorphic, very sullen-looking vegetables. With a little, They got a little bit of a haunted look to their face. Hey... I don't know. I think you're an orange. Are you a watermelon or some sort of a melon? I don't know. I'm I'm going to go out on a limb and think that maybe they're supposed to have jewels on their eyes and they don't. They were just, again, they were just weird enough for me. Is that it? I think that's all. Oh, no, I got this. I'm going to send this to a friend of mine. Do you all remember Tab? So I got this and I talk about tab and Boo 16 knows that I talk about tab and Boo 16 is like, Hey, I got tab. So <laughs> thank you bound to be found, but I got tab. I'm going to send that to a friend of mine. All right. I'm going to put, I'm going to clear all this stuff off and then I'm going to get out the things that I got from star city thrift. Cause I did just walk down there. A couple of the things I got for Becca cause she's like Misty. And I went down, Becca, and they got them. So I'm going to get your invoice ready as well for those items. But um, let me get these things cleared away, and then I'll show you what I got a couple doors down from Star City. All right, I'm back. And I got everything laid out that I purchased from Star City Thrift. Um, so, Becca, I got your pigs. So, Becca sent me a message, and she said, Missy, you got to get these. So, I got these. Now, these have already been sold to Becca. So, I got this Chinese New Year pig. And I got this Squishmallow pig, whose name is Peter. It's Peter the pig, Becca. And also, Becca wanted me to pick up this willow tree angel for her. I also picked up another willow tree angel that I'm going to be selling. But Becca wanted me to pick that one up for her. So that one has sold. This one is, it says Prayer of Peace. But this is a different one in the box. And I kind of liked, I liked it. So I don't care that it's not in the original box. This one is for you. And here she is. And I like that she's got these orange flowers behind her back and her little braid. So she has, well, it says for you. But then it says prayer of peace on the box. So I have a box for her. 
So she will be, I probably will bring her to a buyer's choice sale. I'm going to have Mark work on this guy. He was $5. It's Gumby. And he talks. But he isn't talking. Apparently, sometimes he talks and sometimes he doesn't. Oh, wishful thinking. Gumby. Gumby. I'm going to see if Mark will work on him. It is, it says, all rights reserved. Trin Masters made in China. I don't know. I just thought for just sit on a shelf. And his little arms move. It's Gumby. We don't have Pokey, but we got Gumby. I really want Mark to get you to work, but come on, Gumby. Eh, we'll have Mark work on it. I also got, I already have him, so I will be putting him in a buyer's choice sale because he's fabulous and somebody else might want him too. I think that he was probably, I don't know, it could have been a Happy Meal toy or a Burger King, Burger King toy, but it's Pete's Dragon. Do you remember him? It was my favorite movie. A dragon. A dragon. I swear I saw a dragon. An old lampy. Oh, lampy. And look, when you push down on Elliot's... Elliot. He's great. I love him. I already have him, so but maybe we could spread the joy and somebody else might pick him in a buyer's choice sale. I also got this. Now, I don't know anything about these. This is a Power Ranger. Mark does. I paid $2 for him, but I do know that it is Bandai and it's 1997. So I know that it is a vintage one. How any of this happens, I don't know if he makes back into a car. I don't know. But if he's not worth any, if he's worth millions of dollars, but I'm probably just going to send him to Emmeline so she can give him to give it to her son Adam. It's Power Ranger, Power Ranger. So I got that. It was two dollars, and I got these. I paid seven dollars a piece. These are an older set of Norcrest bookends. They were seven dollars a piece, but it's a little boy and a little girl. They're planters and they're reading their books. So they're bookends. Adorable. Wouldn't these be so cute if you put your air plants or even pencils if you wanted to use them as a desk and use them for like your little golden books? Aren't they sweet? With that old Norcrest sticker on the bottom. I love that. And then I got this. This I paid $6 for. It is full, no, yeah, full crystal by something something of Sweden. And it's a Swedish dollar horse in glass so i don't know i thought it was kind of neat and then this is really cute too it's a keychain and it says it's made in taiwan and it's a bible it's got its little class oh i got a sticker on my nail get on look it's a bible it is we we'll start with genesis well, I don't know if what version of the Bible this is, but oh, that says Genesis. That is itty bitty. Oh, we got to put the clasp back on there. Tiny treasure on your keychain. You know, you need the Bible on your keychain. It's right there. All right, that's what I got from Star City Thrift. I'm getting ready to, it is 1234. So we're getting ready to have the mug sale. I've decided I don't like the fluffy Coke. I love uh, sweet cakes. Go there a couple times a week. Won't be getting a fluffy Coke anymore. I don't, it's just, no, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. So I'm, I'm gonna drink my water and we'll, but hey, we tried something new, right? That's what it's all about sometimes is trying something new. I want to tell you guys too that Thursday I'm having the retro roundup and I've got all kinds of things in this box. I'm going to be bringing that um, E.T. and Papa Smurf. I've got some Garfield items. I've got Little People. I've got more Smurfs. I've got Star Wars. I've got a big old bag full of Smurfs I'll be going through. Trolls. All those trolls that I got, those are going to be available. We're going to be doing those probably in a buyer's choice. I've got vintage Sandy Lion stickers. I have, these are um, Muppets. They're from the 80s. Look, there's Kermit. They're cutlery. 
so that's going to be, I also have a Cabbage Patch game. So I'm going to be getting my catalog loaded for Thursday. Tuesday's sale on Vamp will just be buyer's choice. But some of the things that I so showed you today will be in that sale. And then uh, Thursday, well, you know, then I have my, my sale with Michael on Tuesday, which I have not even pulled anything for yet. Although I probably will bring that crazy two-faced doll, the composite baby. So some of the things that you saw me show today, I probably will bring on Tuesday. But Tuesday might just be a little bit of a mystery as far as the YouTube sale goes. But you can watch it the day before the sale. I always put up a reel so you can see what I'm going to be bringing there. And then um, Thursday is the, the retro parade on Vamp. I think we're going to end the vlog with some affirmations for today, August 2nd. Ooh, this is a little bit of a long one. So, affirmation warning. You do not need to have the same interests or personalities as those you surround yourself with. What matters is that you connect from your heart and that you value the integrity of your connection equally. Sustain relationships that take you outside of your comfort zone. They will support your growth. Foster these friendships and they will bring you more joy, love, and connection than you have ever known possible. Relationships built of integrity will carry you through both the best and the worst of times. Always create space for them. I can say that those true friendships are 100% the ones that you need to invest in. Um, I have been friends with people. Some of you know some of the people that I've been friends with in the past and they're not my friend anymore. And I, you know, sometimes you get hurt and things happen and, you know, sometimes people are your friend through a season of your life and that is okay. And it's okay for you to grow and learn from those experiences and know what kinds of friendships that you want that you want in your life. I myself, I want to be around people that are uplifting and positive and, and have good intentions. I don't want to surround myself with people that are constantly trying to think of ways that they can get at or get back at or cause hay havoc or I don't like them because they are doing this and that. I, I don't want to be around those kind of people. So you have to invest in the friendships that are, that are going to foster the same kind of life that you want to create that you want to in the space that you want to be in and not a constant you've constantly feeling like you got to when the next shoe is going to drop sort of thing and i know a lot of you could probably relate to that you have probably had friendships that have fizzled out for whatever reason and sometimes those those things, as hard as they are when you're going through them and as hurt as you may feel, they actually end up being more of a blessing more than anything else. So if you look at it that way, that, you know, it's, it's a blessing because your life can be so much happier without the constant havoc and the constant something going on, which can be pretty detrimental to your own health as well. All right. Getting off that soapbox, let's do our daily affirmator. Imper Im no, I'm not going to do that one. All right, enough of that. We're going to start on our affirmators. This one is ups and downs. I see life as an incredible ride, and I'm lucky to be on it. Yes, the ups and downs make me want to puke sometimes, but they're also what makes things fun and interesting. And when you look back, even puking on yourself makes for a pretty good story. I guess. I don't have a good I don't have a good story when it comes to that. Do you remember college? Anyway, so try to look at things when things go wrong and maybe your feelings get hurt or you know X Y and X Y or Z. You just have to pick up the pieces and you just keep going and you in time, things will make more sense. I don't know if that makes any sense, but if it helps somebody else, then I'm all for that. I'm all for that. All right. I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog because I have a sale in 20 minutes that I got to go get everything finagled 
as far as the computer goes. But thank you. This is a Friday and I don't normally vlog on Fridays, but I just, I knew Mark and I were going to go shopping. And so I'm like, if I can get ahead and film these hauls, then I'm going to do that. And I didn't have to go shopping and I can still show you what I got. I mean, I didn't have to take you shopping with me. I will be doing that tomorrow. We will be doing some shop with me's tomorrow, but I don't know. Sometimes it's nice just doing a good old fashioned haul, just like the good old days. Do you remember them? Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and go. Thank you guys so much for watching. We tried something new today and we're going to stick with our old standbys, I think. Well, probably not. I'm going to try something else, but I probably won't get an extra large the first time I try something new. All right, we're going to go ahead and go. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Mwah. Do you love shopping? I love shopping specifically for vintage and antiques, but sometimes it's hard to get out and about with our busy lives. But I tell you what, there is a new way to shop for vintage and antiques, and that is at virtualantiquemarketplace.com, otherwise known as VAMP. There are over 9,000 active listings by over 200 trusted, vetted sellers that is guaranteed to ship your items within three business days of your purchase. It's fast, it's fun, it's all curated, true vintage and antiques over on Virtual Antique Marketplace. I am Misty and I am one of the owners. We would love to have you come over, become a member, it's totally free, and jump into these live sales, static sales, support small businesses over on virtualantiquemarketplace.com. Come on over and join in on the fun. Red Hot Mama, Red Hot Mama, you're the one we need. Red Hot Mama, some charmer, yes indeed. You say that I should be in the follies, hot tamales. You say that I got a pair of eyes just like old Sven Valleys. I confess that I possess the sweetest charms in town. And unless I miss my guess, the boys will follow me around I could make a music master, drop his fiddle Make a bald head, a man, part his hair in the middle